hi welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is Nakia Pleasant and today we're going to be doing some brand identity design it has been a mighty long time since I've done a design with me I'm not gonna lie I did not realize <laughs> But since it's been so long, let's just get right to it because we got a lot to do today. So as you can see by the title, we're going to be working on some brand identity for an artist management agency service. And I found this brief from Briefbox. So let's go ahead and read the brief together and see what we can work with. Branding for an artist management service. Brief overview. Third Floor Sound is a new independent management service based in Brixton, London. Third Floor Sound is committed to artist development in helping musicians build a career in music. The client is looking for a distinctive and bold brand that helps increase the awareness of what Third Floor Sound offers to its to the artists, the local community, and further afield. They would like to see their brand realized across series of print and digital advertisements to help the new brand launch. The client likes the idea of leading with iconic song lyrics to steer creative campaigns and garner interest from all walks of life. And scrolling down below, they have like four screenshots of like um, just some design inspiration and like kind of like the creative direction. I think this is already up my alley for like what I, how I like to design a little bit. So this should be pretty, pretty fun if I do say so myself. Oh, now that I moved to London all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm just like something really cool that they have is like time frame and they have like the typical time frame for like how long this project would probably take or like what would be a real agency or like real work so I thought that was pretty cool to like challenge yourself to like finish it in two days and here I am recording a whole 30 minute video for it so <laughs> um so deliverables they want the logo with the brand identity uh logo slash brand identity a brochure for print design and a poster for billboard design but yeah before i get started if you want to check out briefbox go ahead i'll link it down in the description so you can check it out and have some fun and do some briefs yourself make sure you get your bev okay get your bev and let's get to work okay so we are in illustrator and as you can see i already have my inspiration here just like last time because i cannot do this without thinking just a little bit so as you can see i have the original creative direction here but based off the creative direction i wanted to try to pull in some different elements and stuff and some different things that reminded me of the inspiration images they already dropped so i'm just going to go through all of these images and kind of see what i can get from this and make a a little bit of a cohesive mood board i love this image right here i actually want to try to like use some of this inside of some of the design that i do i really like how this letter is cut into pieces like that like that is so cool um i really like this it kind of reminds me of like new balance like 90s ads like the end i really like that too i like this layout so i'm gonna put it on the board and i think it matches with the colors going on here and I'm already thinking that like color is not gonna be a problem here. I'm definitely gonna go with the bold font choice. I already know that. So for my mood board, I'm trying to go for something where it's still like some negative, oops, excuse me y'all, where it's still some negative space and stuff. I really like this MTV ad for spring break. It's just giving nostalgia. And I actually wanna look up some MTV old old school designs and see if I could get inspired by that if it's looking if if I'm thinking it looks how I'm thinking it looks then we'll be all right definitely love this like I love the grid I love this layout um love this so much it's so good it looks fantastic so 100% absolutely babe also really like this like it felt kind of like CDs to me like I thought that was dope I like this I just don't think it's right also really like this i know the font is totally off from what we got going on i still think the concept of this looks good and it feels good but at the same time i feel like the inspiration images and like the creative direction it didn't really have too many sharp shapes like the sharpest thing was the font like on the ends and stuff like it's not too like there's a lot of squiggles there's a lot of movement 
All right, so here's the mood board. We're just gonna work with something simple, super playful. I didn't wanna do too much. I didn't wanna spend too much time here. So let's move on to looking for some fonts that we can work with and yeah. All right, so today I'm gonna be browsing through Adobe fonts first to get a feel, see what they got, and then I'll go to some more customized versions on Envato. I need to go. I'm always I'm always looking for a new font. I'm never looking at the like I'm never looking at my own library. Like I can let me show y'all. I also have another font folder outside of this one. This is not even like all of them. But I like I said, I probably got something. I so Curtis is a font that I got and I love it down. Like this is one of my favorite fonts to go to. Um, this whole typeface is amazing. Like the variation of fonts that are in here are just insane. Um, I love the variation I could do with this. So I think I'm gonna, since this is my new computer, I do need to re-download it. Oh, so let me go ahead and do that. See how good these look? And like, I think what I appreciate about the font is that every single letter is the same height, same width, and they still look good. So Forma is also one of my, or Forma DJR is also one of my favorite go-to easy serif typefaces. All the fonts in here eat um, the mini versions. It just makes design and branding and typography like all that stuff like anything you're working with for design like and you're using text if you need a good font this one <laughs> all these freaking <laughs> where's the wide okay oh uh, i kind of like how the ovals are like really circular because then that goes with um some of the shapes and like that they had in the inspiration so i really like Okay, or extra wide. Do we need extra wide? I think Curtis is gonna be the one. So <laughs> like, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm sorry, this, that's not as fun to see other fonts. Ah, fuck it. I'll actually, I'll do one. I'll do the other one so y'all can see. <laughs> but Curtis is probably gonna be my, my main. This is also another font I love. I don't even know how it got here, but it's called Coolvetica Regular. Ah. Oh. I like this. I just feel like would like I don't know. I don't love it. That's all I'm gonna say. I just don't love it. But as far as like the mood board, I think Curtis fits a little bit more. Even though I feel like I can have some fun with this, I think it'll take a little bit more work. And we're trying to we're trying to get out of here, right? So <laughs> um yeah. Yeah. So I need a moment to like not click and I need to sit back and think right quick because I don't really want to do like no brand mark, no full out, like trying to design a um, logo where it's like characterized or anything like that. I just kind of want to straight text and out the door, but I'm going to figure out some ways to make the text pop out a little better, uh, feel a little bit more unique and not just like I threw the font up there. So. <laughs> Let me sit back and try to come up with some ideas before I start touching stuff because, yeah. All right, so there are a few ideas I wanna hash out here. So let's kinda of get them done. So number one, I want to, let me copy it. Um, I was saying about doing, okay, you see these letters up here? And remember how I said I wanted to like implement that? I was thinking about implementing that into the logo in some way. So I don't know if I wanna break the whole logo up or just do a few letters. I'm not gonna lie, this is already looking pretty tight. Yeah. 
So I'm just taking the knife tool and slicing and dicing. <laughs> like literally. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like that. And now zooming out, I don't know. Like, I don't think that's like really like usable. So that's a little worrisome. But mm, it's not real. I'm just like <laughs> But no, for real. It's it's not really that usable, but it looks fire. I think maybe I need to uh, up the spaces between them so it's more visible cuz even like right here like I still read it fine, but it's kind of like, hmm, what's going on? Then I'm like, "Oh, I see it." But it doesn't look as cool as like when you're literally I'm having a hard time zooming in, <laughs> but when you're literally like right here, it just doesn't it doesn't look it doesn't look that well. <laughs> um, let me go to the bottom one and see if I could slice and dice this as a whole. Or actually, before we do that, I'm going to stack these because I think that will look prettier. All right, so. I think this is going to eat right here. So I think what we're going to do is go straight. Wait, we need to group the letters together. That's the one. Because group and group. Then we need to take the tool. Okay, now. This is really dope for like what could be like a poster. I'm not even gonna finish because I think it's like it could be really dope for a poster. I just don't know. I don't think like for like what could be a logo, absolutely not. The first idea didn't really work out. Let's try the second idea I have for the logo, um, which is the same thing. I definitely think that it is best to stack these words just because they are like all kind of like the same amount of letters i think yeah so it kind of just always is gonna line up really nicely what i'm thinking about here is trying to add like some dimension in the word so it kind of feels like there there really are levels to the name or like there's levels to this like you know what i'm trying to say <laughs> so let me try to see if i can get that on par by just kind of distorting it or using like a filter or something. I don't know, like, let me see. <sighs> mm. Not too much. I think I'm onto something with this one. I think it looks good. I just want to figure out like how we can add maybe like some dimension to it or I don't know if it needs like a box or I don't know. Like I just feel like sitting here by itself is kind of a little confusing, but I like it. I don't know. Maybe it needs something. Maybe all it needs is just some background to it. If you get what I'm saying. Okay, you see where I'm going here with this? Let me try to finish and see if I come up with something. So this one I like. I just think it's hard to tell that it's being scaled back 
and forth and back like the layers thing it's not working um i don't want to add like that much dimension to the logo just because i just want it to be able to sit and be i still like it it's my top right now my top contender but as far as like okay we have like these all oh, these other design elements coming into a place i don't want to mess it up by putting so much into the logo so for the next and final idea i'm just gonna have to pick one after this but um i want to basically go ahead and what do i want to do oh i want to go ahead and put these into like and make them softer with like ink effect and like stuff like that so let me go ahead and knock that out right quick because that's a little bit easy okay so far i actually am kind of liking this and I, I did this same method in my 10 logos video but i think this is gonna eat right quick hold on let me finish let me finish now i'm getting excited <laughs> So I'm just taking the smooth tool and this is how you can like make the letters look like this. Uh, I don't really know how to say it, but I've seen this go around, but if you're ever wondering, but like I said, I just want to soften them up just a little bit. I think a good 14% is good because I still want it to come off strong, but I think this works because to me, yeah i think this works because to me this looks like if you were like on the third floor <laughs> okay like let's i'm trying to get creative here but this reminds me of like if you were on the third floor right of an apartment and it's like third floor sound but it's like almost if somebody's blasting music and then like you're like cup is shaking on your desk it's like damn they rocking out up there <laughs> like that's kind of like how i'm imagining this like it kind of feels like damn they bumping so hard like the face is hitting so hard that like the letters are falling <laughs> i'm gonna do a radical blur on it and see what that gets me I don't want too much yeah this is one of my favorite things to do um it doesn't look like these were affected at all though hold on now now as far as like hmm should we spread it out more probably let me see ungroup Ugh. dang i'm still looking at this one now <laughs> This is be the struggle of doing these videos. Oh my gosh. We need to move on. Because uh, <laughs> I like both. I think they both give different vibes. So looking at the mood board and the logos that I made, which logo or which logo would you say fits the vibe a little bit more? Like which one would you go for? Which one does you do you feel is like a little bit stronger something i could do later on is like i don't know if you remember i think it was like ntv cribs or it had to be vh1 or something where they used to um use like boxes to stack their words so it was like whole cubicles and then worse so i could probably like add some cubes in here and do it that way too but yeah overall like what do y'all think so far in the comments and don't forget to subscribe while you're going down there thank you all right so for the color palette i'm gonna make them look like little cds just for fun um it's fun <laughs> i didn't need to do all this it's just a color palette but um that looks like it's cute we are gonna have a couple of colors and I want to pull directly from the mood board a little bit and then go from there. D 
these colors are good i just don't love them together i think they could use some tweaking so i'm gonna do that tweaking now um i definitely want to keep this i know i want to keep that okay let's let me tell you the flow of the colors that just aren't working this green absolutely not um i think i want to turn this into like a more magenta like this is that magenta um and i don't know if i need this pink but uh we'll see um so looking back at the mood board and look at the colors i think it's good for now i think it's good because when it comes to like the design and how it's going to be laid out like I said, the colors are going to just be like the little pop, like it's going to be there, but I don't think in the branding, like as far as like, if I were to give them guidelines, I would tell them not to pair more than two colors together on a single design piece or like advertisement or something. So I'm actually kind of fine with this. I think it will work and interchangeably especially with the black and the whites as the main and then adding in like that pop of color i think that might be the one i keep looking back at it i'm like ah maybe i wish i could do these live for y'all <laughs> okay so i'm gonna make something like this too like i don't want it to be too crazy i want it to be something where it's just like a business card type of mailer almost i would like to do something like that for this. So I see the vision a little bit. I just don't see how it's about to work. I don't know. This 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 ain't working out right here. I'm telling you that right now. Let's go back to the logo. I got a cube here and I just put one in here that was already like pre-made. That kind of looks like butter. But um I want to use it as like a copy paste type of thing so I can get the idea of like how a, a cube is supposed to feel so this will be the top one get another one and this will be the back one this one so i just did this one and that one and then this will be oops connect one more but wait there's more okay wait oh this is tough right now because now I'm trying to figure out alrighty oops yes uh, yes okay yes this is this is getting good because <laughs> this is what i meant like what i meant that i wanted to do it like this that's crazy yes i love it i think this looks great actually okay we're just gonna clean it up a little with the lines right here
I'm obsessed. I've never made a logo like this. <laughs> Definitely feeling this. I think it works. I think it goes so well with the mood board and stuff. So fire, 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 fire. So it's day two of working on this brand identity and I want to finish off and we stopped in a good place I feel like because now we're at the hefty part but I think I have a little bit more foundation now since we got the logo together. Alright so we're going to add a background and I think I'm going to do a colored background. That's why I American Express, yeah, 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 yes, my love for you. Part of me is like, just use the logo. But part of me is like, nah. And my heart of me is like, yeah. And my heart of me is like, nah. <laughs> like, <sighs> let me see. And I'm gonna make a couple of different circles and then try to intertwine them <laughs> I can't do anything today. All right, so now that I got the shapes together for the most part, after all that talking mess, I think I'm, I am going to use the actual logo. Yeah, see, I think this is a little bit better. Okay, <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. I think I just like, I needed some dimension to here and it wasn't given. Looking good, it's looking good. I'm really excited. Okay, hold on. Oh, she's a little crooked. I didn't even realize. It was a little crooked, babe. Girl. Come on, girl. Go with this car out. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I'm kind of feeling this. That's nice. I'm really proud of this. <laughs> um, yeah, that eats. So I guess I'll just do the other side. Do y'all like colored text? Or is that not like in no more? <laughs> Cause I think colored text is nice. So I like the purple text. I think it's fun. It makes it a little like, ooh. All right, let me finish putting all the text and stuff on here and I'll get back to y'all. <laughs> Vai travando com a rabeta, vai sentando com o popô. Vai travando com a rabeta, vai sentando com o popô. O José tá muito chama essa fazenda, via essa fazenda tá querendo. O José tá muito chama essa fazenda, 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 fazenda. All right, so I about finished this flyer, mailer. 
situation. Um, I think I'm gonna move all of this up actually. Let me turn the grid back on so we can see what's popping. But yeah, it looks really good. I'm so happy with it. That was a long journey. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it took us a journey to get here. Just because I did not know how I wanted to wanted it to look and I didn't want it to be too much, but I wanted it to show like, hey, you know, we got this. And I think what I'll do is to like stylize it for like my portfolio is that I'll probably have multiple shots of these in different colors so you can show the different colors. Um, since I didn't really use black and white mainly. We got that out the way. Um, next, let's make three artist cards. How much time do I have? Okay, I don't have a lot of time. So let's see, what's, what's cooler? I think this is more fun for the video and then I'll just probably add the billboard later. I'm sorry y'all, I gotta go. So as far as the artist cards, let's think right quick. We want to let's look at the mood board so we want to showcase artists i don't want it to be something like this even though i love this so much i still wanted to i still want it to be something that's fun goals with the branding i want it to be simple enough i want it to be cool i still want it to be legible but i want to give spotify a run for their money right here <laughs> i just want it to look really cool so i don't think i want to have any information on there as far as like numbers and like top songs or anything like that i want it to be just cute and like just to say their name i don't want to give no ultimate if you want to come play if you want to come live this is such a nice picture <laughs> like he's eating yeah, so my first step is to put them into Photoshop so that I can edit them. I think the green will be very complimentary. complimentary. So let me grab the number. Did you know you got it? So I wanna put a filter with the color and I wanna put that on. It's not really strong enough for me, so I'm gonna try to just edit until it gets there. <laughs> Cause it's not, it's not strong enough. Okay, I don't want him to look Green Goblin-ish. Cause it's already getting there. But that's good enough. Let's go ahead and export really quickly. It's not gonna be that good of a high quality image. It is kind of, kind of funny that I'm using non UK artists. <laughs> but it's whatever. It's like I'm not going back. <laughs> The thing about designing is sometimes I just don't be feeling like executing my ideas because I'm like, oh, I don't know if it's gonna turn out, but then you never know. Okay, so we're gonna have the green version of him, right? We're gonna have the regular version of him. And what we're gonna do is take these same shapes and put them on here. But I think I want this to be a little bit more uniform. So, but I want to use these shapes as the cutout, if that makes sense. <sighs> it might eat, it might eat, it might eat. Oh my gosh, wait. Here's the big reveal. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I turned into a compound path by pressing object compound path. And so now I'm gonna make it into a mask. And that's how we do it. Isn't that tight? <laughs> but the colors really pop and I'm glad I chose a contrasting color um, from what was like the orange and stuff because it really stands out i'm obsessed uh, yeah once i flesh it out a little bit more it'll really come together but so far like i'm literally obsessed <laughs> i can't i'm so excited that this is like what i came up with today because 
yesterday I was out for the count. I was like, I don't know what else I'm gonna do. But I think the shapes really come to life, like, especially with me doing them by hand, it feels a little bit more organic and stuff. And I, I like that personally. It might not be everybody's taste, but like I could have went for a little bit more structured and stuff, but I really wanted to make sure it was kind of like spaced out and felt like a like a groovy sort of vibe. I guess this is where we leave and depart from each other. Um, please check out the full branding. I'm gonna finish up after this, obviously, but check out the full branding for Third Floor Sound and let me know what you think. That's tight. Okay, so <laughs> let me know in the comments below what was your favorite part or what was your favorite thing I designed or just give me some tips in the comments because like I said, I'm always learning. We're always learning together and that's why these are like so much fun because it's just no pressure. We're vibing, okay? So I will see y'all in the next one. I'm really excited for my videos to come. So please, please subscribe and put post notifications on, like, share, do all the stuff. Thank you.